When the Taliban were in power and they believed them to be dirty animals, therefore contact with dogs was banned. Dog fighting was banned under the Taliban. Street dogs out in Afghanistan have basically been able to populate for the last 40 years with no form of control. You had obviously the Soviet invasion, you then had the Taliban, you've then had obviously the last 13 years of conflict. Sadly for the Afghan government, they are under a lot of pressure from Afghan people to control the stray dogs because of fear of rabies. About a thousand Afghans die each year from rabies, which is completely preventable. Nauzad's mission here in Afghanistan is to promote animal welfare. One of our main tasks is to actually humanely trap, neuter and release the uh, stray dog population, which in turn will prevent rabies. They have a lot of problems. Some of them are sick. They don't have any food. They don't have any clean water to drink. And this is actually Whitey before the accident. Whitey was hit by an armoured vehicle near to the US Embassy. Um, we believe her legs were dragged under the car. There was no soft tissue, no muscle, everything had gone. It was just bone inside a flap of skin, basically. In the end, we took the left leg off. But we are impressed with the way she's healed. She hops around, she's got a wheelchair. She's doing really, really well. And we're sort of collecting them now. We've got Monty, who had a busted up pelvis. Looks like he's been left with some permanent nerve damage, so he falls over a lot, but he can walk. And we've got Anita in with a busted up pelvis. And we've got Mazar, who was run over by a car, and we've actually had time to take both of his legs. So we need our own disabled dog swing. This was my dream to be a vet and help animals, dogs, pets, birds, everything. When I was a child, I saw a lot of pets, but no doctor, no, no person to take uh, care of them. Now there's only organization which take them, cure them, and uh, find them some homes. There are also some Afghans, they come and adopt dogs or cats. This is new. There is not any another organization to give them. They are some sell them, but not as we do, just adapt them. Dog ownership, it was something that before was limited, then obviously banned by the Taliban. But now the Taliban are not in power. People feel able and happy to be able to own a dog and cat again. <laughs>